his dash with the first ball of match 35. Safi hits a full toss down the ground. He overcommits. He could be in trouble here. Well, the keeper had to rush the rush the take. Happy Virk. This time he slices it away, and there's a fair bit of bat on this. It's going to beat the field of the first boundary of match 35. Get dash in once more. Maybe he'll pick up the wicket because of frustration. He's bowled very well. And this is a, well, a good bit of cricket all round here. Strike. And hit hard, and he's going to try and get it past the gap, and it's a diving effort. Well, what a sensational effort it was. Slow delivery, and shout to catch it, but this has been placed beautifully. Oh, this one's blasted. This is a supersonic shot, and it's out of here. Maximo! Shaheen blasts that one. Little leg spinners. And Safi goes big. Well, this one might have been riding away on a horse because this has been blasted. Shakalagia. Good line. Goes again. This is miles in the air. Well, watch out there, Kristaps. That one's coming your way. Maximo. This one's almost knocked out the camera. And if the lights go out, you know what's happened. It's Safi. It's almost smashed this one straight into our camera. Great shot. Six more runs. Shaheen's turn, and he absolutely blasts this one. Oh, that has gone miles. It's another Maximo. Six more runs to finish fifth over. Shaheen getting in onto the action. He moves to 20. The score at the halfway mark. It's 47 for no loss, and what an over that was. With a short ball. He gets one a little bit full up. Again, throws everything at it. This is into the gap. Galami's not going to cut this one off. It's going to be four more runs. This has been launched, and it's gone. Ball! Bale, bale. And uh, six more. Shaka Lugia. You got the feeling he's going to try again. Last ball, the over. Well, you know he does. And this one's flatter, but it's the same result. Zeismas Maximo to finish the six. Edged. And what a catch! What an amazing catch! Happy Virk behind the stumps was full and to his right. And this is one of the best catches we've seen from a wicketkeeper this year. It was a thick outside edge. Wow, this one. I'm anticipating this one's going to land in the farmyard because that's gone massive. Maximo to finish the seventh. Safi up to 46. Well, he goes big, but he might be out here. It's going to carry, is it? Galami takes a great catch. Sensational catch on the run. And well... <laughs> I like the flaming archer from the 92 Barcelona Olympics, Octay Galami. Well, he fired when it counted. He was on the run. Have a look at this. And it's again, no wonder when he dives. It's just because he hits the ball full speed, extends the arms. Well, that's a great catch. Fantastic. Goes after this one. He gets plenty of it. So the overthrow costs them more than just the one. They get Maximo. Six more. And yeah, you talked about the... The fielder backing up. I think he was backing up. It went bounced off Galami at an awkward angle, and the, the batsman identified it. Probably take nothing away from the shot. He sticks with the right-handed now. Goes again, and this one's going to be the same result. Just has enough elevation to get it over long off. Back-to-back -back sixes. Maximo! As the captain, Abazar, rolls the dice in the ninth. He gets double sixes, and that's a dozen to the total. Now they're eyeing off well over that 100 mark. That's ball's the over. Yeah, well, there you go, Rico. Just uh, warning the batsman saying, yeah, we don't leave too early. This is a nice looking shot, and that one's into the gap. It's going to be four more. Here he is bowling to Usman. He gets a short one, he nails it square of the wicket, and this is going to go all the way. I think that's cleared the boundary. All right, four runs given. Well, this is a little top edge. I fancy it's going to run away to the boundary. It's going to be another four runs. Full toss goes after it, but he hasn't quite got it. This should carry to Galami. He doesn't drop many. This one bounces straight off his chest. Well, he's going to lean back and he's going to hit this one really well. And forget it, this one's not coming back. Maximo! Abuzar, what a knock this is. And he's up to 29 in quick time. All right, two balls to come. 113 on the board. And he's going to get another boundary here, I fancy. One bounce, and that's four more. 
finally gets one right. Last ball. He might as well keep running. That probably yeah. wasn't very smart because they're going to get two. They'll probably, probably go for three now. Might as well try. And they say no, nope, hoping the bowler would fumble it, but they'll get a double in the end. And Abuzar will finish on 35, not out of 15 balls. 119 for two will be the score after 10 overs. Means exactly 120 or two runs of ball will be required in the second innings of this game. Let's go with the first ball. 120 to win. Oh, this is an awful start. Oh, no. That ball's gone to heaven. That's cost him seven. And what a disastrous start for Askar Khan. Must have just slipped out of the fingers. I tell you what, it's a remarkable shot from Devashan Dash. It was a jumping pull shot. Free hit now. This one does bounce. And, well, this one has disappeared. Maximo! That is the most expensive first ball I've ever seen. The current run rate, if it comes up now, it'll say it's 78 and over because they're 13 after only one ball. But, uh, I think that's a lovely message. This is going to grow as well. This is growing, and that's out of the ground once again. That's one for those in the cheap seats. Maximo! This over is getting ugly. Goes again, and this one I think is going to be the same result. That's flying away. Maximo! Six more. Well, oh, that camera is looking a bit lonely. Well, it had some company. The Kookaburra knocked it right on the head. Oh, he might get the wicket, though, and he's going to be gone. So 25 and a wicket, and Asko Khan gets the perfect revenge. Again, he shouldn't have been on strike, Rico. They should have taken that single, but instead, Dash, it's a very fast innings. 24 of his six deliveries. Why are you on 10 into the ECS? You'll see things you'll never see before. And this is in the air. Oh, this is going to be a simple catch. And keepers don't drop these. And so it is Uma Usman that takes the catch. And Galami, that was an interesting knock. He's had an interesting day, but he goes without scoring ultimately. To bowl the first, but he's trying again now to bowl this one. And he's knocked him over. And that's exactly why I was surprised not to see him. Oh, doesn't he love it? Well, this was a beauty. This was Jagger the hot air. The stumps have been knocked all over the place. The castle has been shattered. Here we go. Dynamite. Bang. Off they go. Well, this has hit down the ground. It's hit pretty well. It's going to be four. And it just picks the gap between mid on and mid off. And, and it's a catch taken. And that's a good catch. It's really well judged. It was dipping on the man at square. He had to take it. And we've seen some terrific fielding from all teams that have played here today. But at the moment, well, this team here, Gothenburg, they're right on top as another wicket goes. Goes back and punches this one. This one will be a big chase. And in fact, the field is not going to get there in the end. <laughs> one, of those, one of those resorts. Well, this one's hit pretty well. And this one's going to be six. Maximo! It goes again, and this one is so high. Now, where's it coming down? I've got no idea. The field is under it. Oh, what a good catch. Excellent catch. No, no, no. I think it's come out. Oh. I think it's come out at the last minute. Let's watch this again. Now, what look, here? You've got to keep it in your hands, and you've got to prove to the umpires you're in control of the ball. And look here a minute. He had it. Just count the seconds. One, two, and there it oh, slips no. out. Ah, well, so is this. Dixit says, no problem. I'll do it myself. And he gets a wicket off the last ball of his over. Goes straight through, Mohammed. And now Lund. The wickets keep tumbling, don't they? End of five overs. It's 48 for five. There's the pause. Goes after it anyway. Hits it pretty well. And in fact, that's a good shot. Four runs into the gap. He's going to go again in that same direction. It's going to be the other side of the field. I think he just might have moved around a little bit there. Such in Putka. Uh, he wants to stay there because he's got a wicket. And uh, maybe that was all part of the ruse from Hasibur Rahman. Comes up with the wicket and he's just a kind of bowler. Well, this one might be stumped again, and it is. That's a really smart bit of work behind the stumps by Umar Usman. This one cracked back at Safi. It's a long chase. In fact, he's not going to get there. It was quite wide, wasn't he, Siddiqui? Yeah. This is... Using the pace of the bowler. 
So he just cracks it into the pitch. And that was a nice shot by Huron Murray. It's hit reasonably well. And this one could be four more. It will be. Paparetti. Well, he was ready for this one. He's played it well. He does finish with the boundary. Oh, this is up in the air. Now someone's going to have to get under this. It's Dixit. It's come in the air a long time, but he takes the catch. Sensational bit of fielding. Well, that's Mr. Dixit who does the job. Lund losing eighth wicket. It's up in the air. And I don't think he's got the distance, but it, is it dropping? Oh, well, it did, but out of the hands of the fielder. It would have been another sensational catch. As this one's been launched into, but I think it's only just going to be a... Well, I say it's only going to be a catch. We just should know better. We can't say things like that. He totally messes this up. And then he was just saying, I'm not sleeping here. I'm going to go and sleep downstairs in reception. This one, ow, it goes hey, down again. Uh, it's the same man. I'm hurting for look, him. <laughs> I give him this, though. Bearing in mind he's got a, a busted hand. 110% uh, for effort. At least he's trying. He's, at least he's close to the magic spray. And that's going to finish the 10 overs at the end of 10. It's going to be Lund with 87 runs. And they go down. Not able to hunt down that total of 119 set for them by Gothenburg City.